proposed bill comes from a bipartisan group of senators, but it lacks support from the White House and some congressional leaders. Meanwhile, many local unemployed workers are concerned how much longer they can hold on. Tan Trung brings us that story. Cordelia Rogers managed to pull her family out of homelessness before, but she's worried about paying rent this month. I went from not having a place to finally having a place, and I'm on the verge of losing it again. I can't, I refuse to go back that way. Rogers contracted COVID back in March. A short time later, she got furloughed from her job at the convention center, and then from her second job at the airport. Sometimes I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna come up with extra change in order to feed myself and my, and my boys. Like many other unemployed hospitality workers during the pandemic, she relied on supplemental federal unemployment benefits to stay afloat, but that dried up in July. Now, a bipartisan pack of senators is proposing a second round of stimulus. There's many things in there that are important to Louisiana. Our hospitality industry, whether it is the chef in Shreveport or the B&B owner in New Orleans, and all points in between have been very negatively impacted by this. The bipartisan proposal would offer, among other things, $300 per week in federal unemployment but right now it lacks the backing of the White House and also major congressional leaders. Without that, political watchers say it'll likely be after Joe Biden's inauguration that a second stimulus package could arrive. Rogers is pleading with politicians to do it sooner. I'm not just speaking out for myself, I'm speaking out for everyone else that's in my situations, for the single mothers, the single fathers, the middle class workers. You know, we're all trying to do the best that we possibly can for ourselves and our family. Come, just, just please get back to the table. With Christmas just a few weeks away, many Americans are hoping for the gift of compromise in Congress. Tan Trung, Eyewitness News.